Hey, Gregor, I read your article on Oilers Nation. I'm curious what your thoughts are about Burgo. When do you think, if ever, he would have a chance to make this team? That one comes in from Steve. Yeah, well, the article, if anybody wants to read it, it's up at OilersNation.com. We're just talking about, you know what? Times have changed uh, in Edmonton because for the longest time, basically, it was if you're a young player, you're getting a chance. You're almost being gifted a chance. Like, like think about how many times they would have five rookies playing 50 plus games five now no surprise and the team was terrible but like there was three most years right remember hall everly Pliari all came in in one year at the same time and it wasn't just them there's a few other rookies on that team i have to remember um who are the other two rookies uh, oh mark right hope i think jeff petrie also so you just can't do it and now you look at the orders so now there could be there could be a rookie in their lineup Raphael lavoie could make the team he'd be he'd be a rookie but Raphael Lavoie, his birthday's later this month. He's going to be 23. Holloway's birthday's later this month. He's going to be 22. Broberg turned 22. There's no teenagers. There's no 19-year-olds. There's no 20-year-olds. There's no 21-year-olds. And, and to me, that's a good thing. So when I look at Xavier Borgo, you know, he's had one year in the American League. Nothing wrong with that. If, if this was 2008, Xavier Borgo might have, or sorry, 2010, he might have been in the lineup as a rookie. Honestly, that's how bad they were. Like, you go from being a team that can win the cup to being a team that can win the draft lottery, it's pretty different. So, when could Borg go? It's a really good question. He had an okay rookie season. I think like a lot of 20-year-olds in the American League, it is really hard. It's extremely difficult league. And it wasn't like Bakersfield was blessed with a lot of high-end offensive talent. They were 24th in goals for last year. Now, they were 12th in goals against. They were better defensively than they were offensively. So I, I look at Borgo this year. He'll be a year older, a year stronger. I, I really think that that first year is a big learning curve for some guys. And it, in conversation with him, it didn't sound like his confidence got absolutely beat out of him. Some guys do, and they never recover. Like, it's really difficult because most of these players, they've been the best player on their team since they were seven, right? They're always used to scoring. They're always used to feeling like, man, I'm making a big contribution to the team. And now suddenly they're not. So, Borgo, could he get some games this year if injuries arise? I think it's possible. But I would think next year is a chance where, hey, maybe Borgo has a shot. But if you look at the order's top, like, where's the opportunity for him? Right? Like, you got to have an injury. He's not beating out Kane. He's not beating out Hyman. He's not beating out Nugent Hopkins. I don't think he's beating out Connor Brown. Is he beating out Raphael Lavoie? Like, Raphael Lavoie was the best player in Bakersfield for the last four months last year. So he's ahead of Borgo, and he's not even a regular yet. So, yeah, it's going to be difficult. It, it'll be a few years, but that's kind of how it is in a good organization. It There's very few players that just get to come out of junior and jump right in to a good team. Like, you, you would have to make a, a crazy good late pick.